Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video of the week where we look at trying to get you in the top 5% globally. And you do that by following these very simple to follow instructions. I'll start by going over how game week 17 went and then we look at game week 18. We start with the game week 17 bankers. All of you will have these four players. That's Ward, Bueno, Andreas and Haaland. The first three of those were on the bench. Harland got 13 points in game week 17. He was wearing the old mule Santa hat, so he gets doubled to 26 points. So Bankers, 26 points. You would have had one of these goalkeepers, Edison, Pope, Ramsdale, Kepa. Their scores were 2, 6, 3 and 9. So that's an average of 5, which is okay. we take a 5. Defender, you would have had one of Cancelo, Trent, Robertson. Cancelo came on near the end. Don't let that worry you. He'll often play the full game. Trent was very good, but only got two points. Robson got an assist. They got an average of 3.7. That's less than we'd like, but it's okay. We carry on. <laughs> You'd have had three of these defenders. Trippier, James, Walker, Gabriel, Shaw, Dallow, White, Castagno. Now these largely did not very well. And as you can see, Walker and Dallow didn't even play. So somebody would have come off your bench and it would have been Andreas. I realised I've put Andreas in both of these slots, but I thought it's pretty unlikely somebody following this chose those two players. So that's why I think it's okay for me to do that. So you would have got at least four points, an average of 12, maximum of 23. So not great, but we push on. You'd have had one of these midfielders, Salah, De Bruyne, Son, Fernandez, Sterling. Salah did well. De Bruyne was good on the pitch. He didn't actually get any more than two points, but he was still good. I don't actually remember the Tottenham game. I know I watched it on telly, but I don't actually remember what happened. But I wouldn't worry about it. If you've got Son, you can keep him. If he's still bad in a few weeks' time, then we'll look at moving him on. The Man United game, I thought Fernandez was brilliant. He only got three points. That's because he kept passing to Anthony, and Anthony was woeful, in my opinion. So I have Fernandez in my own team, and I'm definitely going to be keeping him for now. And then Sterling got six points. So these got an average of five, which is a little bit disappointing, but okay. In case you're wondering about the colours, I'm reckoning we want each player to be getting five points a week. So with a captain, that's 60 points, and that's our goal every week. So blue means we hit the average. See, the average has five. Fewer than five points, the numbers are red. More than five, the numbers are green. You would have had one of these midfielders, Foden, Madison, Saka, Mount, Trossard. And they scored one, didn't play, nine, ten and two. So again, I'm replacing Madison with Andreas. If you already had Andreas coming in for one of your other players, then of course you've had the next bench warmer coming on. So in total, these got an average of five. So we're kind of heading for our 60 points by averaging five. We've got quite a few average scores going on here. You would have had one of these midfielders, Barnes, Martinelli, Rashford, Odegaard, Ormeron. Now these cheap midfielders, as you can see, did quite well. And they averaged 8.6 from one of these midfielders. Now a lot of teams in the uh, fancy Premier League got very high scores. And that's because a lot of them would have probably had at least two of these midfielders because they were cheap. But don't let that knee jerk you into thinking you need to sell an expensive midfielder and get one of these. Because you need to look at average over time. And over time, there'll be weeks where some of these, they all get twos and threes. So I would say don't suddenly switch to load of these yet. Just, just stick with the program for now. One forward, you would have had one of Kane, Darwin or Tony. They got seven, two and five. As you may well be aware, Darwin had lots of opportunities and only got two points. If he did it just a little bit better, just by a few inches, he could have got like 15 or 20 points. So if I, I don't have Darwin, but if I had Darwin, I'd be keeping him for sure. They got an average of 4.7. Not very good. You would have had one of Mitrovic, Martial, Solanke. Points of 15, 6 and 2. They got an average of 7.7, .7, so that was better. Mitrovic was a doubt, so a lot of people who had him either put him on the bench or else got rid of him shortly before the deadline, got someone else in, and he got 15 points. Incredible. So the global average was 72 points. The worst you could have possibly got if you followed this program was 42. 
the average was 77.7 .7, and the maximum was 124. So hopefully you can feel like you've done all right this week. We, we only need to do roughly average for most weeks. We can have one or two bad weeks, then do one or two really good weeks and we should be all right. So I'm still feeling fine about this. 332 subscribers. Look at that. Very happy about that. Thank you very much. If you like this sort of stuff, please do subscribe. Maybe like too. And comments. Right. Game Week 18 transfer. If you have Madison, then I suggest you get rid of him. We don't know how long he's out for, but we need to assume it's going to be a while. So simply get one of the other mid-price midfielders. That would be Foden, Saka, Mount, Trossard. I can make an argument for any of these four. So whichever one you choose, that's fine. If you have James and you don't have Madison, then make this transfer. If you have both of them, then do the Madison transfer and keep hold of James for now. It's not worth taking a four point hit to move James on. So James is going to be out for maybe four game weeks. So if you have him, buy either Trippier or Gabriel or Shaw or White or Castagne. Just one of those, but only if you don't have Madison. So regarding your bench, all we need to do each week is set the bench and then the 11, other 11 players set themselves. So you want to put Ward as your bench goalkeeper. And then for these players, the first one I, you see, I show you that you have you put in position number three on your bench, which is going to be Bueno. And then you want to, if you've got Somerville, he goes in two, otherwise Bailey, otherwise Billing. You should have one of those three. They're in position number two. Andreas is in position number one. I'm aware that Andreas may do quite well this week, but I've checked against the other players and I think it's still worth having him on your bench in the first position rather than actually swap him with one of the other players. Regarding the captain... No surprises here. Going for Haaland. So Haaland gets to wear the old mule hat. As for vice captain, this is more tricky. I've purposely not gone De Bruyne. I don't like going captain and vice captain the same team just in case the game gets postponed. So if you've got Kane, make him your vice captain. If you don't have Kane but you have Salah, he's your vice captain. If you have neither of those but you have Darwin, he's your vice captain. If you have none of those, make Elmrond your vice captain. If you have none of those, make Trippy your vice captain. If you have none of those, he makes Son your vice captain. If you have none of those, make Mitrovic your vice captain. And if you have none of those, then you will have Tony and he gets the big floppy mule hat. And there we have it. That's the plans for game week 18. I've not sorted my team out yet. I've not yet decided if I'm going to move James on. I don't have Madison. Um, I'm not actually following this, so I'm not doing as well as all of you that are following it, but still having a good time. Thank you very much for watching and all the best for Game Week 18. Bye.